Right, hi there. So just lately I've been uh, doing a lot of woodwork and I've been creating quite a lot of um, sawdust and the old hoover that I have can't keep up with it. I've been emptying it like two, three times a day and uh, once the bag gets caked in dust um, you have to like blow it out of an airline to get it out of the um, fabric of the bag because it reduces the vacuum, this performance and uh, we're using like the table saw, sander, planer, uh, it very quickly fills up. So I actually uh, bought a product from banger.com. I'll put a link in the description to it. And so yeah, let's take a look at it. Uh, I brought this here, it's a cyclone dust separator. And the way this works is you connect your hoover at the top here, hoover hose, and then you use a, another hose to vacuum up with and uh, the dust gets sucked in here and it swirls round and it separates it by the dust and everything dropping to the bottom and rather than going into your hoover and blocking that up uh, also you need a paint bucket uh, this is I think a 15 litre one but this just fits on top there and then you've got four bolt holes to bolt this onto there and then the dust will get separated and go into the bucket so I'm just going to set this up and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes Right, so here's the cyclone separator all set up and ready to go. Uh, there's some oak uh, sawdust which I made earlier, and uh, here the reason why I've um, been making so much sawdust just lately is because I brought a load of this oak here, which has uh, had the live edge all come from a um, joinery, it's all um, kiln dried and treated and uh, I've been cutting this up and truing everything up, making it square and then I've been making it into uh, boards like these here, uh, these are unplaned at the moment but, uh, ready to go through the planer and also making them into spindle blanks and then I've been turning the planks into artists uh, boxes uh, this one here is for watercolour pencils and I've also been turning uh, wooden pens uh, and that's a mahogany one now which I made with the lid I've got to make lids for these as well <coughs> and uh, yeah so let's get back to the cyclone uh, separator see how well it works
right, so there we go. See, let's fill the bucket up and uh, just see what's inside the hoover because I actually left the bag out so I can see how much sawdust gets sucked into here. And as you can see, hardly any, just a little bit. That was basically clean. And uh, there's not too much in there. So yeah, that definitely seems to be working properly. So I definitely won't have to empty the hoover quite as often. Okay, so as you've seen from that test, uh, this cyclone is actually really good. And I'm actually, got to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. I didn't think it was going to be that good, not for the money that I paid for it anyway. Um, and it's going to save me a lot of time having to clean that out like three times a day if I'm doing a lot of woodwork. And uh, it will be a lot easier just to dump that bin out. Yeah, it should be really good. Anyway, I'll just quickly show you um, how much I actually paid for this. It's actually pretty damn cheap. Um, on Amazon, it was like uh, double over double this price. <clears throat> so it's uh, $15.99. Or in British pounds, it's twelve pounds uh, sixty-two pence, and uh, yeah, that's on the Banggood website. I'll put a link in the description to it. It's the uh, one of the cheapest places I could find it, anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, that's it, really. Anyway, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.